Good morning. This morning I'm going to cover um, the INF 2611 2021 Assignment 1. Um, this assignment is to create a community tourism project using Python and PyQt5. Alright, so let's get started. First of all, you can see, I'm just going to read through, it says, complete the assignment 1 template and submit a PDF version on MyUnisa. No late assignments will be considered for marking. Your programming task, design and implement a single window application to satisfy the following scenario. In the post-COVID period, the Department of Tourism would like to promote all towns in South Africa as potential holiday destinations. This drive requires the marketing of national venues and events, for example, holiday accommodation, markets and shows. So there we have some examples here, alright, as well. So where's my highlighter? Uh, it seems to have gone hidden away. Okay. Um, uh, I want to redact. Okay, no, I don't want to do that. Alright, I'll leave that as unhighlighted. Your town has <coughs> has tasked to you to develop a single window application, one page only, to promote the town's tourism marketing and promoting information to potential visitors. The following requirements must be met. The name of the community must be clearly displayed in a single window application. The application's GUI must present a diverse collection of information relevant to the community or town's tourism attractions. Pay specific attention to the layout of your GUI. You must use at least one widget from each of the following widget groups. A button, a container, an input, and a display. Alright, so here I've got my designer open. So I'm going to click on File and new and I'm gonna go with a dialogue with art button okay I'm gonna click on create alright so now I've just got a blank um, form alright and I'm happy to leave my form as it is we can display the name of the community either in the title bar over here or we can just use a label so you just drag a label and um, for me, I'm going to call this label, I'm going to change the label object, and I'm going to say label community, community name. Okay. All right. And the community I'm going to use, I'm going to take an example of um, Centurion Legends. That's what I'm going to call it. Centurion Legends. So, why are they, what they're saying is, have a look here. You see, I've just added a label on, and you'll notice that it hasn't, uh, it's not showing the full text that I'm typing out here. So, we have to stretch this text, okay, um, to make it a little bit bigger. All right. Um, there is other ways of making the fonts and everything a lot bigger, but I'm not going to be focusing on that. I'm just going to be putting this. And I'm going to use this as a centerpiece, okay? Um, yeah, so I'm placing it sort of in the center, all right? Um, they also want a button, a container, um, an input, and a display. So now, if I'm thinking like, okay, what are my favorite tourist places? So one of them that I enjoy doing is uh, I enjoy going to nature reserves. I uh, enjoy going to aquariums. Um, I don't like zoos so much, but I'm sure there's a zoo in Joburg. Um, there's uh, the beach. There's, there's so many different tourist things. So when you go on holiday, what are things that you need? One of the things that uh, are going to be needed is accommodation. Okay, So I would go and I would say, I'm looking for accommodation. So if I want to look for accommodation, I would add a line edit over here, okay, and I would I could easily put in a search, and I could make it a search. 
The other option is you can use a um, a simple um, radio button and you can say which option am I looking for at the moment. So I'm going to drag a few options here because um, yeah we want to we want to come up with some options. So let's use radio button one first. Um, I'm going to call this radio button accommodation. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to rename the. I'm going to change the text property of it to accommodation. All right. So as you can see, it's also looking like it might cut off. So you just stretch it out a little bit. The next thing, what happens? Hey, we arrive there. We've got our accommodation. Especially if you've got kids, you know that the next thing that's going to be dad, mom. I'm hungry, I'm thirsty. So what else can you add? Oh, I need a restaurant. I need to find a restaurant or a takeaway or some kind of place. So this one will be radio button. Um, I'll just call it ta uh, takeaway. Okay, takeaway. And on the actual text, I'm rather going to call it a restaurant because uh, I've got some fancy people reading my my um, program and they don't want to be seeing my takeaway ideas. And then what's next? Okay, I need to find a place. What are we what are we coming to Joburg for? Are we going for a wedding venue? Are we gonna to go to the park? Are we gonna go so these are just some ideas of places and locations. And things that you can add so I'm gonna add a park over here all right so I'm gonna change the object name here to radio button and park all right and then I'll just call it park um, or recreation because that's um, also one of the fancy words recreation as you can see it's um, a bit short so I've got to extend it over here all right so that is basically some options um, and then we've got to make some displays and we need a button so that's why this push button over here um, I would add it over here and I would add a label over here and I would say find um, so this label could be label find, all right? And on the the text, I would say um, uh, find, yeah, or enter um, enter a place, okay? And if we have a look, I need to stretch it. So make it a bit bigger. There we go. Enter a place. And this is my line edit. So I'm going to call it line edit search. All right. And this button over here, I'm going to say push button search. And I can also just change it um, to find or search. And there I have a very simple program with a few options. Okay, it's got an input option, it's got a button, um, it's got some selection options here, uh, and we need to add maybe some results at the bottom over here. The next thing we're going to add to our document is a widget. Okay. And as you can see, that's a container. So this is a container. And this widget will display Google Maps. So I'm going to label this widget um, a Google Map widget. Okay. Widget Google Map. 
okay and I'm not going to display anything uh, or I'm not going to uh, add anything else to it at the moment what we'll do is when we click on accommodation it'll add the word accommodation okay and we would need to know the area but since we're searching in centurion it will automatically have the word centurion accommodation all right or accommodation in centurion okay and so you add these by um, signals and slots okay and um, so to change to a signal and slot we can go in here we can change to edit and we can say edit signals and slots okay and the nice thing about it is you drag you drag it up and you say I want to link it there and it says when clicked we say here and we say copy all right um, or copy or maybe paste let's choose paste okay go okay and there it says it's clicked and it's going to paste okay and um, yeah so we'll do the same with all of these other options here uh, link it to there um, we can say clicked and we can say paste all right and the same here this one we're going to go clicked and we're going to go paste okay so now it's got uh, it's this is basically link linked it up through our um, what was, oh man I've forgotten the, the terminology so these have now been linked through signals and slots the signal is clicked the slot is paste okay yeah as it stands this now has a button there's your button a container which is your widget container an input which we've got as a line edit and we've got a display which is the widget as well all right so thank you for watching i hope this is helpful and all the best with INF 2611. Thank you. Goodbye.